What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joan. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Tedious, gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain has flown. To each his own. Can he not? news. Wait till I tell Brad his little wife is being nominated for the presidency of her woman's club. Will he be proud? Oh, well, thank you, Elsie. I'm so glad that you and the girls feel that way about me. Goodbye. Gosh, me, president. <gasps> Just think. Me, President. Hello, dear. Boy, have I got news. Me, President. Uh, Joan, it's me, Brad. You, Brad. Me, President. Uh, Joan, look, honey, honey. Snap out of it. <laughs> oh, Brad, darling. Uh, How are you, dear? Wonderful news. Now, how did you hear about it so soon? Huh? Oh, well, it figures. Good news sure spreads fast, I guess. I just couldn't believe it. No, Joan, Joan, I, I don't think we're talking about the same thing. You see, I've been trying to tell you that I got wonderful news today. I'm being seriously considered for a federal judgeship. Federal judgeship, oh, yes. But I'm being considered for pre Federal judgeship? Oh, Brad, isn't that wonderful? Say, wait till I tell Elsie and Nancy. Oh, they'll be green with envy, dear. And then I'll tell Clara. No, 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 Clara dear, dear, us. dear, dear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. What's the matter? Well, I'm afraid it's a secret and you can't tell anyone. I can't. No, dear, because you see, look, I'm only being considered for the job. I haven't gotten it as yet. And it would be very embarrassing for me if it got out. Well, couldn't I just tell Mabel, dear? She's my best friend, you know. And she tells me all of her secrets. Uh, no details, just the gist of it. No gist, just the details. No. Uh, I'm glad you see it my way, Joan, because you and I are the only ones that know about it, and that's the way I want it to stay. Brad, darling, if that's the way you want it to stay, that's the way it's going to stay. Wild horses couldn't drag it out of me. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Congratulations, Just Stevens. Congratulations and the best of luck. Uh, what? It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Joe. <laughs> what couldn't? Wild horses couldn't drag it out of me, Your Honor. Your federal honor. Now, Joe, Joe, come back here. Right? Shut the door. Now, Joe, where did you hear? Who told you? How did you learn? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Jack. How are you? What? But where did you hear? Yeah, now look, Jack, this is kind of silly. I know wild horses couldn't drag it out of you, but, but who told you about my... Congratulations, Brad. Huh? Congratulations. Well, now, Phil, Phil, who told you... Look, Jack, I insist on knowing... Phil... Who told you about... Excuse me. Telegram for you, Judge Stevens. Well, oh, I yes. guess everybody knows Look, Jack, about Jack, it. don't hang up. Joe, Joe, read that to me, will you? Now, Phil, look, you've got to tell me... Stop worrying, Brad. Wild horses couldn't drag it out of me. <laughs> yes, but uh, uh, what does it say, Joe? Congratulations and don't worry. Wild horses couldn't drag it out of me. I know, I know, but who's it from? Mother. Mother? Well, she lives in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Now, how did she know about... Judge Bradley J. Stevens? Right here. Signed here. Oh. Oh, no.
Joan, how could you do this to me? I didn't mean to, darling. It just sort of slipped out. Joan, how could you do this to me? Well, I, I was so proud of you, darling, and I... Joan, how could you? Yes, I know. Wild horses couldn't drag it out of you. Goodbye. Hello, Brad. Brad, th this is Jim. Jim Randolph. Jim Ran... Jim Randolph! Say, how are you? <laughs> oh, it's a long story, Brad. <laughs> Too long to go into now, but maybe we can have lunch together tomorrow. Meet me at court around, uh, 1230. Oh, by the way, Brad, about that 300 you lent me when I left four years ago. Remember I said to regard it as an investment? Ah, oh, forget it, Jim. It's worth fifteen hundred now, Brad. What? Really? Really? Can I use it? Are you kidding? Now I can get Joan that fur coat she's been wanting. Well, wait, I'll tell her. No, no, no. On on second thought, I think I'll surprise her with it. Yes, it'll be much better if Joan doesn't know. Okay. Pretty exciting. Wonderful. Okay. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. What would be better if I didn't know, Brad? Huh? Well, it's, uh... No, I, uh, I can't tell you. You mean it's a secret? Well, sort of. Well, it's... No, darling, you're absolutely right not to tell me. After what I did, I can't be trusted with a secret. Can I? No, you can't. That's what I thought. Just to show you how right you are, dear, I'm not even going to ask about it. Good. Brad? Yeah? Could I ask you just one question about it? One question? Just one. Well, okay. Uh, go ahead. Why will it be better if who doesn't know what's very exciting when you meet whom tomorrow about what is wonderful? Huh? And how come? Joan, I... Oh, please, Brad, tell me. I've learned my lesson, darling. Honest, I have. Please. Huh? You have? Yes, you can tell me. Wild horses couldn't... All right, Joan, I'm going to test you. I'm going to tell you half the secret. Half? Yes, and then if you've kept the part of the secret that I told you for 24 hours, then I'll tell you the other half. Oh, 24 hours, huh? Yes. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, the husband of a girl you know came into an unexpected $1,500. Really? Whose husband? Nancy's? Barbara's? Who, who? No, 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 no. That's the part you'll find out tomorrow night if you haven't told the other part. Oh, yeah. Well, why doesn't the husband want to tell his wife? Well, because if he told her, he's afraid she might run out and buy a new fur coat. Oh, <laughs> 24 hours, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, darling, that's a cinch. <laughs> that's the easiest thing in the world. I, I could do that with both hands tied behind my back. <laughs> Who couldn't keep a secret for only 24 hours? <laughs> it's not very long. <laughs> How much longer do I have to go? <laughs> Keep a secret, huh? It's been 11 hours and I haven't told a soul yet. Lover, eight of those 11 hours you were asleep and the other three you weren't out of my sight. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, Angel. See you uh, later. <laughs> oh, and Brad, uh, don't worry, dear. My lips are sealed. All right. <laughs> uh, Brad, I suppose he figures the minute he gets out the door, I'll be on the phone. Telling some of the girls all about it. Mm, dust, really. Huh? Dust, dust, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
is he? Hello, operator. May I have the telephone business office, please? Hello, business office. Say, I know this may sound peculiar, but uh, could you possibly disconnect my phone until 6 o'clock this evening? You can? Well, that's wonderful. Hmm? Oh, uh, Dunbar 31232. Uh, yes, uh, that's right. Uh, no outgoing calls and no incoming calls. Yes. Would you disconnect it right away, please? Thank you very... <laughs> wow, what service? I better get dinner started. Uh, I think I'll go at the clues closet. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, all we know so far is that the secret is about one of our husbands. Mm -hmm. Oh, come in. Oh, gee. Gladys, what's that mean? Money. It's obviously money. <gasps> one of my husbands made money. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Yeah. A lot oh, of money, Joan? As much as $250? Oh. $500? $500? $500? $500? Oh, was it? Oh, 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 I was it. What is she? What's that on her? No! Oh. More money! Oh. How much dough did this remarkable husband make, Joan? A thousand? <laughs> I get it. It's less than 2,000, more than one. 1,500. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> one of our husbands suddenly made $1,500 or something. Oh, that's wonderful. Isn't that oh, wonderful? Yeah. Oh, Which one is it? Who do you suppose it is? A tomato. Good heavens. He spent the $1,500 on some tomato. Oh, oh no. no. Yes. Oh, 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 I don't Cold. I get it. It means we're cold, darlings. We're on the wrong track. It's not another woman. Say, oh, praise be. I don't understand. If one of our husbands made fifteen hundred dollars, why should it be a secret? That's right, darling. Why? I don't think I should secret about it. Why can't we tell about it? Oh, the rat's foot is. <laughs> she's cutting frankfurters into three pieces. No, she's cutting both ends off the frankfurter and just using the middle. Hot. <laughs> You're right, Bobby. The middle of the frankfurter has something to do with it. But why should a husband want to keep a secret of some money he made because of the middle of a frankfurter? No, darling, don't you see? The middle of the word frankfurter is fur. Frankfurter. Fur. A fur coat. Someone's husband made $1,500 and doesn't want to buy his wife a fur coat. Isn't that right, Joan? Is it oh, right? Is it right? Hot. Oh, yes. Yes, we're hot. Well, That's I it. just bet it's my Frank. Oh, no, I'll bet it's Harold. He went to the track last week and he told me he lost. No, I know it's Tom. He claims he loses in those beastly poker games of his. Oh, well, I'll bet George finally hit one of those stock deals he's always talking about. The worm. Well, I'm well, going to find out. I'm going to see Harold. Well, I certainly didn't tell him. Thank heavens, only a half hour to go. There she is, dear. She's the one who told us. So I won $1,500 at the races, huh? Well, if you're so smart, maybe you can figure out a way to pay for this. But I didn't... Next time, do not speak unless you have proof. But I didn't say... Come along, dear. <laughs> So I want fifteen hundred dollars, eh? Is that what you told Elsie? But I didn't tell Elsie anything. They wouldn't take this coat back for me. Maybe they'll take it back for you. But I didn't. How could you tell me such a thing? Come, dear. <laughs> I'll take it. Come, darling. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Hello? Oh, it's six o'clock and my phone's connected? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, where can I go to get my tongue disconnected? <laughs> Uh, no, no, that's a joke, see. Uh, tongue, uh, you know, the phone was disconnected. I said the tongue. No, it, it really doesn't. Doctor Who? No, I, I, I didn't mean it quite that Hello. Way. Goodbye. Well, how's my little secret keeper? <laughs> oh, just fine, dear, just fine. Uh, what are all these coats doing here? Coats? Oh, Yes, they're, they're girl coats. They belong to girls, honey. Uh, we're having a meeting in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Yes, uh, they went in the uh, kitchen to caucus. To caucus? Yeah. Uh, remember you, when you saw the conventions on television? Uh, some group was always going somewhere to caucus? Yeah. Well, we decided to try it. We've been caucusing all afternoon. <laughs> well, it's uh, pretty quiet for you girls, isn't it? Quiet? Oh, yes, it is quiet, isn't it? As a matter of fact, it's it's silent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, naturally. You see, just as you walked in, uh, we decided to observe a uh, one-minute silence uh, to the memory of Helen Cavanaugh. Oh, Joan. <laughs> Joan, you mean uh, Helen Cavanaugh? Oh, is, uh, no, no, not that, dear. Uh, we just decided to blackball her from the club. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'd better go in and see how the old caucus is doing. <laughs> uh, gotta tell the girls the minute's up anyway now. Uh, that was Brad, girls. The minute's up. Okay, you can stop the meeting. Order! Order! The meeting may come to order. Uh, uh Madam Chairman, darling. Barbara has the floor. Uh, I move that our next affair be a formal dance, darling. I object! So do I. A formal dance. What's wrong with a formal, darling? But nothing. You always want us to go and buy formals. And why should we buy formal gowns? Just because you like to cover up your old bow legs. <laughs> Who has bow legs, darling? You do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Order, 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 girls, order. We must preserve order. Why, I've got a good mind to tear your hair out, you little squirt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> order, girls, order. We must preserve order. I won't stand for this kind of talk. Hello, Hi, Granny. Hi. Well, you girls are supposed to be having a meeting with Joan in there. Well, I don't have to stand here and take this either, darling. Neither do I. Girls, girls, please, don't, don't fight. I'm leaving. I can't stand all this fighting. Don't get my coat, please. Mind you. Order, girls, order. Oh, shut up, Clara, darling. Barbara, how dare you talk to me that way? I don't have to listen to this either. Uh, Joan, get my coat, too. I'm leaving also. All right, girls, if that's the way you feel about it, well, I'll get your coats. I don't know why you girls have to fight all the time anyway. Oh, oh those girls, dear, they're just awful, especially that Elsie and Barbara. Uh, Nancy is no doll either. They're all leaving in a huff, honey. Uh, here's your coats, girls. This one's mine. Give me, give me mine. Stop pulling at it, darling. It may be mine. Oh, look, girls, if you're going to fight about it, take it out on the back porch and fight. All right, Joan. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Joanie. Bye, Nancy. Bye, darling. Bye, Barbara. <laughs> well, Joan, I guess the meeting's all broken up. You might as well get my coat, too. Oh, do you really have to go, Clara? All righty. <laughs> I'll have it in a jiffy, Clara. Oh, uh, Clara's the last, and good riddance. Oh, hi, girls. Uh, I'll get this coat back to Clara, and then I'll... Hello, Nancy. Hello, Elsie. Hello, Barbara, darling. Oh, Clara, dear. 
Goodbye, lover. <laughs> Wonderful, Joan. Our husbands didn't have the heart to send these coats back after all. And now every single one of us has a fur coat. Except you, of course, darling. Thanks a lot, Joni. We owe everything to you. Oh, come along, girls. Maybe we can all go out somewhere tonight and wear the new coat. Oh, that's oh, a very good idea. Good night, Joni. 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 Oh, uh, Joan, don't you want to hear the rest of the secret? No, Brad, I don't deserve it. I didn't keep the first part of it. Oh, I think I'll tell you anyway. The husband in our group who came into all that money is uh, Bradley J. Stevens. Bradley J. Stevens. He's married to Joan. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Brad? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And here's the reason I wanted to keep it a secret for you. Brad, a, a fur coat. I wanted to surprise you. Oh, it's beautiful, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, and all those girls, they, they think that I'm the only one who hasn't got a fur coat, huh? Well, wait till they see me at that meeting tomorrow. Boy, will they be surprised. And honey, look, I want to be a surprise, too. So don't tell anyone about it tonight, oh, dear. Oh, Joni, I can keep a secret. Wild horses couldn't drag it out. <laughs> I want to see myself in a full-length mirror. Excuse what? me, dear. I got to see what this is. <laughs> Hello, hello, uh, Phil? Uh, yeah, this is Brad. So you think you're the only guy who can buy his wife a fur coat, huh? Listen, I just bought Joni a fur coat that is the most beautiful. Mm -hmm. May mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag it out of you, huh? I married Joan. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joan. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Do, do, do. Gay, oh, she keeps my heart laughing. <laughs>